Also tonight, big developments in a battery explosion at a West Valley APS facility. Several firefighters hurt in this blast in April of last year. And tonight we're getting a better idea of exactly what went wrong there. Yeah, in fact, ABC 15, Zach Crenshaw pouring over a newly released report, and he joins us right now, Zach, with the key takeaways in all of this. April 19th, 2019. And that breaking news, just horrible. A massive lithium battery fire in surprise. Eight firefighters injured, two from Peoria, helicopter to the ER that night. Let me see. Move your hand. All right, I got some guys. We're going to kneel over here. Now, a new 78-page report commissioned by APS reveals what happened. Effectively, what you had was a defect in a battery cell. Jacob Tetlow is Senior Vice President of Operations at APS. The report revealing the cause, a cascading thermal runaway. So if you kind of think about it as just multiple batteries, um, in a sense, are so hot that they damage each other and just continue to produce more and more heat. The investigation finding three hours after the heat started to build, Peoria firefighters opened the door. A spark occurred and boom. That caused the explosion. And so we did the best we could. We had two hazmat teams on scene. Julie Moore is a battalion chief with Surprise. She was on scene that night when four of her firefighters were also injured. None knew the risk the battery facility posed. It's just very crucial for us to know what we're walking into in the beginning so that we can have a game plan already in place. The report says better training is needed for first responders and more importantly, APS and its manufacturers need better safety protocol. There were multiple opportunities or barriers that could have been deployed to help mitigate this event. It's unclear how much the explosion cost the company or how much APS may have paid out to the injured firefighters. One captain is still off the job nearly 18 months later. APS reached out to the injured men shortly after the explosion, and Tetlow says the company's committed to ensuring no one is injured again. There's nothing more important than safety when we try to figure out how to make these properly work. Now, APS has two other large battery storage facilities in Arizona, but since that explosion last April, they've taken both out of service until they say they can implement the report's recommendations and ensure safety. Meanwhile, Surprise Fire still conducting its investigation into this explosion. Live tonight, Zach Crenshaw, ABC 15, Arizona.